All right, let's see kind of how deep our understanding is of these different base systems. So I want to think about a four digit number. So I'm just going to make one up that's not related to this problem. A four digit number might be 9,854. Let me rewrite that five. 9,854. That could be a four digit number. So I'm going over to the thousands place. Well, I want to know what the largest four digit number is. There are four digit numbers bigger than what I have written. The largest four digit number is 9,999. Just out in our regular day, if we just walk down the street and ask someone what's the largest four digit number, it's 9,999. 10,000 is a five digit number. One, two, three, four, five. So we can't go 10,000. So that's as big as I can get in four digits. Now let's think about this in base 12. Remember the largest single digit in base 12, let's just write them out to remind everybody. T stands for 10 and E stands for 11. So E is the largest single digit because after that I have one rod and zero ones, one rod and one one. So the largest single digit is E and I want four of those, four digits. I'm not saying nine and E are the same number. They are not, but they both have the similar quality of being the largest single digit. So I could think about replacing my nines over here with E because they have that same quality. Now, along those same lines, let's think about what comes before it. I'm just going to think about my nines. What comes before 9,999? Well, that would be 9,998, just taking away one. All I did was subtract one from this number, and I get 9,998. So the number that comes before E is T. The number that comes before 11 is 10. Notice only the ones place changed. Everything else stayed the same. And proceeds does mean what comes before. Succeeds means what comes after, and I'll write that up, after and before. So again, let's think about 9,999. What comes after that? Well, what comes after 9,999 is 10,000. And that would be the same case no matter what our base was. Because that is the smallest five-digit number. So that would be the very first five-digit number we had. Now I've got another one of these, so let me work another one. All right, I'm not gonna make you hit, well, I am gonna make you hit pause one time, but I'll do the precedes and succeed. So just think about, don't worry about the base, just think about what the smallest three digit number is, anywhere. Doesn't matter, just going down the street, you ask someone, hey, what's the smallest three digit number? Think about that and write that down. The smallest three digit number is 100. It's three digits long. You can see those three places. There's not any three-digit number that's smaller than 100. Well, just like I was talking about up here, I said the smallest um, five-digit number was 10,000. The smallest three-digit number is 1,000. That's the case no matter what the base is. So the smallest three-digit number in base five is 100. The smallest three-digit number in base 12 is 100. That one, zero, zero. Think about what comes before it. So if I asked you what came before 100, you would say 99, right? 100 minus one is 99. Well, in base five, those are my five single digits. Remember, I'm not saying nine's gonna be the same, but look for the largest digit. Nine's our largest digit. The largest digit in base five is four. So instead of 99, I'm gonna write four, four. Then I'm going to think about what comes after. What comes after 100 is 101. Well, that's going to be the same in base 5 because I have all those digits, 1, 0, and 1. That would be the exact same thing in base 5. This is one of those ones where I'll, usually people ask me to repeat things in class if, we're, if I'm in a face-to-face -face class or if I'm meeting online. So definitely 
rewind it so you can hear me go through those things again and feel free to email with questions or also remember we can set up a time to meet over Zoom.